Hello and welcome to Inside EVs. This is a Tesla Model 3 Performance. It's running on Martian wheels and Bridgestone Blizzak tires. So driving a Tesla on ice is a little interesting. There's a few things that you need to get set up and do, and the first and most important bit are tires. So these are non-studded tires, which means Drew, who's gonna be driving the Tesla, Drew owns Martian wheels, he's gonna be sliding all over the place, which is gonna be hilarious, but also really interesting because we're able to play around with track mode version two. And track mode version two allows the Tesla to choose a torque bias front to rear in 5% increments from all the way front wheel drive to all the way of a rear wheel drive handling characteristic. It doesn't shut off the rear axle. It doesn't shut off the front axle either way. It just changes the balance of the car. Drew is also going to have to choose how much stability control assist he's going to want driving on the ice. I'm going to assume he's going to turn that all the way down. And then of course, Drew is going to have to choose how much regenerative braking. Now the Teslas have a function called regen drag control. And that means if there's too much regen and the tires start to lock, it will actually let up on the regen to allow the tires to keep spinning, which allows the driver to maintain steering. It's going to be really interesting to watch all the systems uh, in action to try and keep Drew on the ice and on the track. I can't wait to see what happens. So next shot will be Drew explaining how he's going to set up track mode, and then we're going to get it out on track. Right now, I'm going to do 75-25, which is the balance of understeer to oversteer. So basically, this is going to be more towards oversteer. Uh, but also still allowing the fronts to do some work in the corner. Once we have the steering wheel straight though, um, all four uh, wheels will be driven and uh, you'll be accelerating with, with full power. Um, second uh, here being the stability assist. We want to take that all the way off. On a slippery surface like this especially, um, when the car starts sliding, it's really just going to limit power, start grabbing the brakes and uh, just not allow you to slide as much as you actually want to on, on this kind of surface. Um, and then regen, uh, we're gonna have all the way to 100%. And uh, again, that's just really gonna help us turn into the corners when we're uh, decelerating. And then uh, post-drive cooling, we don't need today. Um, and uh, compressor overclock, we don't need either. Basically, um, today is pretty cold. I think this morning uh, started out at about nine degrees. Um, so we don't need to uh, yeah, worry about things getting too hot. So Drew, how have your track mode settings been working? You uh, started on 90 rear and 10 yep. front. Yep. Uh, and how did that work for you? Uh, that was okay. Tried to get even a little bit more, uh, you know, oversteer. So moved it to 95.5. And then uh, basically, if you were sideways with a lot of, uh, you know, counter steer in, you weren't allowed, or the front motors wouldn't pull you back out. So once you got too sideways, there was nothing you could do. Uh, with that much to the rear, so yeah, that's not the way to go. <laughs> so, right, so 90 to the rear is the most that you probably should ever do uh, in a, you know, when you're actually trying to drive quick. And do you think you'll try an 85 rear to see if that helps with front, or is that too understeering? Uh, that, that could be better. Yeah, that could be better. We'll, we'll definitely play around with it a little bit and try moving it more forward, and then see if that, you know, if uh, the control when you're sideways makes up for a little bit more understeer. So we'll see. Cool. Yeah. Guys, thanks so much for joining us here on the ice. Drew finished fifth out of a really tough competition. 
deep race prepped Audi TT RSs with roll cages and, and really aggressive tires. I think it was an absolute blast. Really shows you how adjustable track mode is. Throughout the drive, Drew was able to alter the balance of the car, alter the regen braking to really get it dialed in. It's amazing how much adjustability comes on Model 3 performance with track mode version two, and that's what makes this all possible. There's a few other Teslas on another track just to the right of us. They're doing sort of a, a fun day driving around. A lot of them are just dual motor Model 3s, some Model Xs and Ss, and they're just sitting on traction control the whole time. Track mode's really a unique tool to a Tesla, and uh, just the ability to dial in everything is so neat. I wish they would give every Tesla an option to have track mode. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Frozen Lake in Colorado. I hope you guys learned a little bit about driving in loose surfaces. Let us know if you'd like us to do more as well, because we have access to some rally roads and other things that I'd love to do with electric vehicles. We'll see you on the next one.